everyone guys my name is Jay Kwan if you're a brand new subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for your loyalty thank you for coming back respect okay so bear videos coming your way you don't know you don't see it right okay it's story time it's about the time where I was supposed to go and visit my friend and I was left stranded kind of anyways okay so this is what happened so if me and you are friends we're crodies not even just okay not crodies but like if we're just friends like if we've been friends or whatever i'll come visit you because i visit bear friends when i used to live in ottawa i always used to come and visit my friend in toronto like i'd always come see her like you always pop in we'd chill for like a weekend a day like whenever however how much time depending i was coming down for like we'll link up so I like to I like I like to travel. I want to experience different places. So I met this um, I met this guy. You guys know We Day? Yeah, you know We Day. Okay, so if you know We Day, I met this guy at We Day, and yo, we we're just like okay, we exchanged Snapchats. We've been friends since, and da 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 da. So we were supposed to meet up at this Blues Fest festival, but he lost his he broke his phone or some shit. I don't remember. Broke his phone, some shit, and I was just like, oh shit, okay, that's that's tough, tough. So I was just like, okay, 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 okay. So we couldn't link up at the music festival, and he. So yeah, so um, that was in the summer. Then when school started, I said we were talking about either him coming to me or I'll go to him, and I said I'll go to you because. He lives in Brockville. I've never been to Brockville before. So I was like, okay, I'll go. And I was like, okay. So I looked into booking my ticket. And when I looked into booking my ticket, the ticket gets cheaper depending on your time. So I was like, okay, I'll come at like seven in the morning, leave at like eight or six. Okay. He's like, that's too early. Take the next one. I'm like, shit. Cause that one was mad cheap, bro. That was like $20 and like per way. So like $40 in total. But he's like, take the next one. That's too early. So I'm like, okay, next one's nine o'clock that's too early next one's um i think it was uh 11 o'clock that's too early take the next one so i'm like two o'clock now is the next one i'm taking and i'm leaving at like seven so it's kind of a waste of time but whatever i it didn't kick into my head so i i booked that one okay <coughs> and uh, time's coming down to it time's coming down i'm not hearing from this man i'm not hearing nothing like nothing now go on but he's not the type to be on social media and bear, bear, bear. So I'm like, okay. So it wasn't odd to me that he wasn't, that I wasn't hearing from him. So it wasn't nothing. Next thing you know, I'm like, wait, shit. It's the day before I'm supposed to go. And I haven't heard from him. So I text him. I'm like, yo, so who's picking me up from the train station? First of all, you make sure you know the time. Like, if this is the time. Like, don't forget. And I'm just like, oh, okay, Gucci. I, I don't hear anything. I'm like, okay. I'm like, whatever. Because he doesn't respond quickly. So I'm like, whatever. So then an hour, go, two hours goes by. I'm like, oh, now it's cutting it close to like, it's getting close to like 11. N nothing. 12 o'clock hits, nothing. One o'clock in that blood clot morning come. In that morning. Come. And I'm like, okay, what on there? Nothing. So I text this friend now that he introduced me to. And I was like, yo, like, have you heard from this man all day? She's like, no, because it was a snow day. So I was like, okay, shit. So if this man doesn't come pick me up, like, do you live close? She was like, no, I live in the next, the neighboring town. I was like, okay, bet. So then he texts me back like maybe like half an hour to an hour later after that and he's like yo sorry like i have to help my grandma move and yeah my mom's not letting me switch the date first of all bro i already paid for my ticket so unless you're paying me back for my ticket which costs because how late he made me come that should come up to 66 dollars when it could have really only cost 40. $40 four zero four zero. So you see how much it racked up by. What? That's a whole twenty. A whole twenty. It was sixty six. So twenty six dollars racked up for what? When I was gonna spend forty. That was in my budget. So 
the man's like, oh, sorry, I gotta help my grandmother move. Um, I can't switch the date because I never go see my grandmother. Da, 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 da. So I'm like, okay, first of all, if I already paid for my ticket, I'll help your grandmother move. Are you dumb? Like, yeah, would, would you not? Bro, your ticket's already paid for. Tell me if you wouldn't. I see it's mainly females subscribe to my channel. Tell me if you were already bought your ticket if you wouldn't just help because it already paid for, no? So I was like, bro, like, are you serious? So he was like, yeah, if you want, I'll pay for your ticket. I was like, hell yeah, you're gonna pay for my ticket then. So the man's like, okay, I'll pay for your ticket. Week goes by. I'm like, where's my ticket money though? He said he he recently he, he doesn't have it. So I'm like, okay. He said next pay. Next pay come. Nothing. Nada. Zero. I'm like, okay. Next next time come. He said he quit his job. Give him some time to get it back, earn it back up. Remember, this is just $66, bro. You could wipe your ass with $66, bro. Like. You can't wipe your ass with $66, then you need a new job. So, okay, I see he's working at a gas station now, and I'm like, so wait, where's my money? He's like, I'm gonna run your check. And I'm like, bro, my mom's getting vexed. Like, when mama bear's getting vexed off, like, you need to run the check. Man don't run no check. I don't hear nothing. So I'm like, okay, okay, I see how you're moving. But the man does music. But you know I still supported his music, even though... The man still owes me money. I support his music. Next thing you know, the other day, I come to realize, you know, the man done unfollowing me on Instagram because he got signed to a record label. The man don't know me no more. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I see how you're moving. I see how you're moving. Don't trust people out here, bro. Don't trust people. People will switch up. So just because I was supporting your music from when you started, whatever, since I known you, and then you got signed by a little record label and then you don't oh okay all those personal talks me did out with you at the time you didn't need help or you didn't need somebody to talk to me I, I was right there okay but you got signed to a record label and then you just decide to unfollow mans on instagram okay i see how it is and i still haven't gotten my 66 dollars and it's been a whole year later so the moral of the story is don't trust people out here. Second of all, don't trust light skins out here because you can't trust them. You can't. Don't trust them. Yo, they're scammers of the scammers of the scammers of the scammers. Females, males, whatever you want to call whatever. Don't trust them. Nope. Thanks for watching. Lieta. Why non touch, girl? Why non touch? Me like to brace on it. Me like to brace on it, brace on it. I'm a like to back it up. Me like to brace on it. I'm a like to back it up.